Peace and good morning. I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of the Five Player Land. As always, I'm your Five Player. Normally, I would be showing my mug in these videos, but I only got to sleep a few hours because I smell my wife cooking a uh, big ziti, and uh, I woke up a little prematurely so that I could uh, engorge. But uh, I wanted to make this video regarding uh, Zach Wheeler. I don't want to get a copyright strike, but I'm gonna leave some of the highlights playing um, in the background and kind of move my camera a little bit. So that uh, maybe at a failed attempt at um, not getting a strike. But this video is regarding uh, Zach Wheeler and the um, why you don't let a quality player, especially in New York, um, go just willy-nilly like that. When Zach Wheeler was uh, coming up for free agency, this is before he had a dominant year uh, two years ago. A lot of people expected that he would be able to be retained for like $85 million for five years, which, I mean, I would have done that. I mean, even in spite of his injury history, I would have I would have, um, I would have signed up for a similar deal. But um, he ended up dominating that year. And um, when it came to the Mets trying to retain him, there was no contract made. There was no offer made. There was no $85 million. There wasn't a dollar offer made from what we heard. Um, it was just basically we can't afford him, and that was it. Um, but now, I mean, like, granted, he's only been on the Phillies for one year into a five-year contract. But um, in spite of that, you knew what you had with uh, Wheeler. As a pitcher, I mean, like, you know, if you have... Um, if you could perform at a level beyond a number three pitcher, I mean, chances are, like, you know, you're probably worth getting more than 60 million bucks. Zach Wheeler is a Strasburg light pitcher. He's, like, right outside of an ace threshold pitcher um, who uh, seemingly liked being here with the Mets. Um, and the Mets didn't make an offer for him. And he ended up signing for 118 million for the, over the course of five years. I think that brings it to like 21 to 23 million per year, and that's kind of a steal. I mean, like if you think about it, it's a hair more than what uh, Stroman is making. Even though Stroman was um, was uh, arbitration or whatever. I mean, um, but uh, Stroman's making 18 million a year, I believe, and I mean. Even at his worst, I mean, Zach Wheeler is right about where Strowman would be, like, almost at his best. But Zach Wheeler at his best, I mean, like I said, I think he's Strasburg light. I mean, there's a lot of facets um, of Zach Wheeler that I, I like even better than Strasburg. So Zach Wheeler could bring it up to 100, uh, no problem. I think. No, let me see... Uh, I was trying to see if they had uh, miles per hour on that last pitch, but Zach Wheeler's high fastball is really hard to hit. Like there he goes, ninety nine. I mean, um, you know, it's uh, with the real with the mean curveball as he just showed you. It should have been uh, an effort to sign him for the Mets. And granted, like I mean, like we do we we do have uh, Uncle Steve uh, at the helm now, and but. I make this case more for uh, Conforto, you know, and trying to retain him. And also, I mean, like, a lot of people were not as uh, adamant about retaining Wheeler. I mean, like, that, like to me, I think there's more of a, of a fanfare in trying to retain uh, Syndergaard than there was uh, for Wheeler. But um, I don't even know, or may, like, I wonder if Syndergaard is going to get more money than what Wheeler got. Remains to be seen. I mean, like, Rita did have a little bit of an injury history, but Syndergaard has a significant injury history. And you may not agree with me, but Syndergaard doesn't have as best, as good stuff, as good a stuff as uh, what Wheeler did, what Wheeler does. Um, could Syndergaard get to that level? I think a lot of people's expectations are, like, at his best, he could. It's just that the whole injury thing and the fact that he hasn't been at that A-plus level is a bit concerning. But just sucks to see him in a Philly uniform, man. And and like and he had a great bat too. I mean, for a pitcher, look at that. Like to the other gap, little double ski. Uh, sucks to see him playing with the Phillies, man. But 
Yeah, there were a lot of players like in the Wilpon era that we uh, let go willy nilly, like Daniel Murphy and. You know, players that were good and they maybe had one little drawback to them that uh, we could have got around, i.e. like Danny Murphy's fielding and the lack of um, being able to put him in a, squeeze him into a position like while he was with the Mets. But it could have been worked out. I think that they could have uh, fielded uh, Murphy at third when Wright was uh, injured, which he often was, or throw him into second, first. But they just, you know, let him walk, and he ended up becoming one of the best hitters in the league for quite some time. And he signed for a bargain deal too. It was like three, three years for like forty-five million, if I remember correctly. Might have been less than that. Right to the Nationals too, you know. So it, it's um. I hope that then I think that was his last pitch. Uh, but I do hope that with uh, the the Wilpon error, that we um, we do get. these uh players contract situated especially the ones that we know are going to work with the Mets which not a lot of players do but let's get these uh players done like and Conforto is a is a big time um case to be made in that in that sense what would I offer Conforto I've heard a lot of things I mean I've heard people offer like 200 uh give me give me one second I'm gonna finish my coffee before it gets cold I've heard some people say 200. I've heard um some people suggest uh um you know 175. I mean, I'd be comfortable either way like cuz uh Conforto is sort of like our captain right now. But um I can't really call it like um but right now with the fact that he's kind of like a Pivotal cog on the team. Like I, I think, like a hair under two hundred. Make that offer now. May uh, you know, and it's a little bit weirder, like than it was with uh Conforto than it was for Zach Wheeler. Actually, you know, it is it's actually kind of similar. Zach Wheeler kind of put it together like right before free agency, and Conforto's sort of in the same vein, like without as without the injury history that uh. Wheeler had, but you know it's it's um the fact that he's sort of like a team captain and he was in front of the press today for some stupidity like uh, you know I don't even know why they ran a press conference with him they were pressing him about uh, getting the jab but let's get this done with uh, Conforto. Um, you know, I, I'd be cool with 175, you know, for whatever years. Let's lock this man up, man. Conforto's a, been a nice little player for us. But, um, and other players that I think that the Mets should uh, be in conversations with, I, I probably would have done this. I mean, if you want to, like, re-sign Syndergaard, I mean, like, um, I would probably look into doing it now in spite of like the injury history and see if you can get it at a discount. I don't think that's going to happen, like but um m- maybe you want to take a wait and see approach with Syndergaard and see if he could ho- if he could um you know stay healthy for uh, a full year. But um again, if you get him at a discount, which I don't think he's going to do, um maybe that's something you want to explore. Uh, Stroman, eh, maybe. I mean, like, if Stroman were to want to sign for like four years, like, and seventy million or something like that, I'd be cool with that. Um, trying to think what other uh, free agents that we have. Um, look at Acuna, man. Acuna is a A plus player. But um, who else? Like I, th- and that's about it. I mean, like uh, I'm trying to think of the other Mets that uh, I w- I would want to retain. But you know, g- going back to the Wheeler thing, in a sense, um, you know, it it sucks too because right now uh, our number two pitching spot is sort of lacking. I mean, like could Wheeler um, fix those um, that need for the Mets? <sighs> Absolutely. I mean, like you know. 
You got a number two pitcher behind the Grom. I mean, like who could be a number one on most squads, and you could have probably had him for a hundred million bucks. Like, but that's what it is. But like, um, you know, I don't think Conforto, like personally, is of that level as Wheeler was. Like, I don't think Conforto is as good of a player as Wheeler was a pitcher. But you know, in the spirit of retaining your guy. Just get it done now. With that, I'm out. Thank you for stepping into the file playland. Peace.